Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own unpacker for your product. I'm going to show you a simple version and an advanced version and I would suggest you to do the advanced because it will look better. But anyway, so so what you will need is the unpacker. It's for free. It's the sack unpacker and pretty much everybody uses it and it's for free. I would recommend you that one and I'm going to put it in the description down below. And for the advanced video, I'll recommend you this URL loader so people can click on the hat on the link for the marketplace, etc. I'm going to show you during the video as well. It's going to be in the description down below, so check it out. And to make a script, we need to right click, edit, and use this magic tool and click anywhere. So basically, this is our box. So once you have it on the floor, you go to content. And here you have this unpacker, you have the silent unpacker and the regular unpacker. You can add just one, don't add two, just one. And uh, this is just now for the base. We're not going to add any products in it. Of course, you need the base. So, now to textures, you need your logo whatsoever. So, I have everything categorized here. And put it in a box and not here. Otherwise, when you put it just on here then you have to do each side individually but the easy way is just to edit in here and everything gonna be the same so basically this is your base unpacker and I would recommend you to put it somewhere by your store and then when you need it just press shift up hold it and duplicate it and then you can add your products in here so let me do that real quick add my latest products I'm also go to properties copy the name So basically now we have it packed and then what you have to do is right click take once you've taken it it's in a recent folder and you have to right click attach to HUD center to and then it's gonna unpack automatically as you can see of course you can click edit and stretch here on the side and make it smaller so this is the basic one, as basic as it gets, it doesn't get more basic than this. Now I'm going to detach it, and now I'm going to show you the advanced version. And for the advanced version, of course you can make it your own, or you can buy some. A person always goes to Toxic Reader for amazing unpackers, so let me show you some examples. So Toxic Reader have so many, I'm just going to show you a few. Like there's this one, also what I'm going to show you the uh, things that you can click on. And like uh, you can have this one. Then there's this one, like this package, it's also pretty. You can also add here the links that are clickable that I'm going to show you how to do as well. Like, uh, like a thank you one. And so much more, they're all customizable, you can customize it so much. And they look all freaking amazing. This is the one that I have, I'm going to show you how to do. So what I use is PhotoPF to customize these hats, you can also use Photoshop. And I'm going to open from computer, so once you download it, your uh, HUD slash unpacker, you open it up and uh, let's see, let it load. So now when you open it, like there's so much customization. So for the base, I don't touch it, I love the base. And for body, you have this, but it says body, but you can add flicker, uh, main marketplace, main store thingy. So what you're gonna rename it, like I'm gonna use the three, like in my main store. So I'm gonna, like, okay, I'm gonna keep those, but like for the top. I'm going to hide those and then we're going to rename them so let's open it up so here I'm going to double click on it and type in marketplace and I'm going to move it a little bit like this I'll just keep it in the middle matter of fact like this okay we click on this again for the second where it says reborn I'm going to type in flicker, double click the T, flicker, I'm going to keep it there, and for this one, um, oops wait I hit this, so marketplace flicker, and uh, maybe main store if it's an event product, so let's type in main store. Maybe I should like switch this to up, like make it by the length. So 
something like this oops this will have to be up there somewhere so it doesn't go under it something like this you can put it more closer here up to you how you want it oh, I don't want to touch this press through Alt Z to undo I don't want to move this so let's move it here to the front a little bit I have to kind of evenly so if you're happy with this close the bodies the text uh, thank you for shopping you can keep this you can rename this the shadow I'll keep this I don't need choose your body if you don't need that so if you're happy with it you can export it I'm gonna go to be funky because there is my font for my store so press file export as and PNG because it's transparent around and save it so now I have a favorite font here and I'm gonna add my brand name by clicking add text and there is so many fonts to use in the funky like you can scroll forever I'm gonna save it to the computer and uh, save and now we're gonna upload the picture plus image and it's this one so now we need a new box I deleted the other one let's put it closer and up so first I'm gonna click on the texture click on this and transparent and then click select face and here this little arrows you're gonna find the number four in here three four and then you're gonna add it in here click move you don't go a little bit up there like this press Ctrl L and then you're gonna flip it and there is your little HUD and of course we're gonna add our unpacker script in there so it's there right away so let me find it the silent unpacker okay so so now to make this links clickable you need your URL this is this one that I showed you, but I have one by uh, Sunrise. So if you buy social media buttons like this one, you will get a script with it. So now we're going to make it squares again. And this one is far away. So stretch, make it smaller. So now we're going to move it here. Let's have the side view. Make sure it's touching. Always check out this side stretch and now I'm gonna pull it here pull it from the bottom about that size and up here make sure it does not overlap with the bottom one and always check this side how it looks I'm gonna stretch it to just fit enough on this one and like this the bottom here now I'm going to duplicate this one by clicking shift up, hold it, and move it downwards, and keep holding it. So now I'm going to click on the first one again, URL, uh, throw it in here, and in here, as well in this one. And so I'm going to make it uh, transparent. So I know what which one is transparent and transparent. So this is the marketplace. I also type in marketplace here in the objects marketplace and open it up. And here string text. Uh, you type in marketplace. Depending on the HUD. And the URL, so I need to go to my marketplace and copy it. And then we're gonna also here between these two. Make sure you don't delete everything, just here replace the link and save it. And if you have a green square, everything is alright. So I'm gonna check it real quick if it's working. So let's close this, click on it, and go to page. And as you can see it works and now we need a main store and where it says my main store show a map and I like to do it this way copy a few times so we're gonna click edit 
Uh, I'm talking about the green store. Content. Duplicate. I double click. Again, here I'm gonna replace. Stitcher L B. And here also replace. So type in main store. Oopsie. Okay, if you're happy, save. If it's green, you did everything right. Click. Go to page. And then it's going to give you this map to teleport. Now to Flickr. Okay, I'm going to copy. By the way, my Flickr got deleted recently because I used to use links. So if you have Flickr and you don't have Pro and you use links, be aware Flickr is deleting SL users like a lot lately. So anyways, edit. Flickr content double click and uh, paste he already says Flickr so save okay so what you're gonna do now is click on the first one hold shift up click on the second one click on the third one and then click on the background link and uh, you can type in unpacker okay you can click take you go to inventory collapse recent unpacker attach to HUD center to you and there you have your unpacker so let me zoom into my face to see where it's standing so when other people unpack it, you can put it on the side, whatever we always recommend. Like, let's put it here on the side. You can stretch and resize it if you want, so maybe it's easier for people to click on. And now we're going to test out if it's going to work. Marketplace. Main store. And Flickr. Okay, perfect. It works. And of course, you can detach it. So I'm going to show you what I usually do. So next to my store, I have my unpacker that I made the same way. And uh, here it says, thank you for shopping. I named it unpacker. Here is the script. And now when I have to pack a new product, shift up and duplicate. Like, I don't use this one. Otherwise, I would have to drop it from my inventory every single time. And that's annoying. Like, this is my one that I just made. It's a bit bigger, but I would recommend you drop it next to your store or your platform and just duplicate it every time you need it. And again, like I said, you put your product in here, you rename it, and then, like I said, if you already clicked attach to HUD, you don't have to click it anymore. You just like add, click add and it's going to be there already. So yeah guys, this is it for this video and I'm going to put all the links in the description down below from the unpacker, from the taxi curator where you can get her like unpackers or you make your own ones, it's up to you. So anyways, as always, feel free to leave a like, comment and if you didn't already, subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!